Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today I have a really good tip for you that goes so overlooked, it's pretty ridiculous. Why we never hear people talking about this, I really can't tell you. But I know from experience that it is a great pattern that you can run roughly this time of year. Pretty much any time the bass are about done spawning, that post-spawn phase is when this, this takes, a, takes place. And before I get into my tip, guys, I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. You will be entered into my monthly drawings if you're a subscriber. All you got to do is subscribe. So if you watch my videos on a regular basis, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. You got a shot at winning some cool prizes, so, you know, just hit the button. Uh, lastly, if you want to support the channel, go over to my description in the video, click on the realshot.com. It's a local bait shop uh, located over in the Appleton, the Lake Winnebago area. Uh, same area, this is, uh, what is this one, Juice Storm. This is made over in Nina, Wisconsin. So if you like beers uh, and you're over there fishing Lake Winnebago and that whole system of lakes, which is a great fishery, stop by Lion's Tail, get you some Juice Storm phenomenal beers they make i just like i like good beer so i like to put it on here and when i sit out here and do these videos a lot of times i'm making dinner and i just happen to have a beer while i'm doing that anyways to get back to what i was saying head over to therealshot.com buy your tackle there use the discount code stefan10 you'll get 10 percent off your order save a little bit of money you help the channel out a little bit it's a win-win for everybody all right guys so this is what I want to talk about, tadpoles. You can run a tadpole pattern early in the year, that early summer time. The fish, a lot of times I've found that when people are talking about the fishing being really tough because it's a post-spawn funk, a lot of times those fish are gorging on tadpoles. And that makes fishing tough because they've got lots of easy meals out there. And honestly, I don't think a lot of people are looking in the right places. And what I mean by that is the tadpoles are going to be in usually a softer bottom. And a lot of times they're in ultra shallow water. So when you hear people talking about, man, I was catching fish in six inches of water. A lot of times if it's, you know, this kind of this time of year, those fish are feeding on tadpoles. And you didn't, you don't realize why you're catching those fish or what they're feeding on but they're super shallow because that's where the tadpoles are. Another great example, you know, I just, I just, a local lake, I took a Hank down and I've got video here. I'll show you what I mean. We just found these the other day. The tadpole bite is on guys. There are so many tadpoles. If you happen to live on a lake where you have good tadpole spawns, you can take advantage of this all the way down the shoreline. There's Hankster catching tadpoles. So as you guys can see, I mean, there were thousands of tadpoles along this bank and these were newly hatched tadpoles. So they were not very old at all. They were in a foot of water or less. And I'll tell you what, there were bluegill and there were bass that were sitting inside on that inside weed line and ambushing them pretty much at will. I mean, Hank had a little dip net and he was scooping them up by the, I mean, tens, fifties. I don't know. He had piles of them in a net every time he did it. And it just presents such an easy meal for these fish. The, another great example, I've got one of my favorite, well, I've got several of my favorite smallmouth lakes where there are very large tadpole uh, hatches that take place after the smallmouth are done spawning. And these hatches will usually be back in mud bottom bays, you know, in a couple of foot of water, five feet of water or less. Generally, you will never see a smallmouth in this area. I mean, these are bays that will get lily pads that, you know, come up as the summer progresses. And when you go back into these bays, you'll see large tadpoles scooting all over the place, like nonstop. And there's big smallmouth in this bay that are chasing the fish. And I've got, I've got multiple lakes that have this happen this time of year. It's usually from, you know, the second half of May 
into early June in my part of the country. Now, this happens different times based on where you're at. But what I'm getting at is these smallmouth, you can go back in these areas and crush them. And you will not catch a smallmouth anywhere near these bays any other time of the year. They don't use them. They don't spawn in them. They are there for one reason, and it is to feed on tadpoles. So, having said that, guys, the two things I want to stress here is ultra shallow especially when you're talking about largemouth they will get into less than a foot of water to feed on these tadpoles and if you're talking about smallmouths they'll be in areas that you would think are are largemouth areas and not smallmouth areas they'll get into these mud bottom bays and they will take advantage of it from a fishing standpoint my absolute go-to bait is a drop shot and that's for a couple of reasons one if I'm using smaller baits, it allows me to make better casts and get those baits to where I want to go. The second main thing, and the, the really the biggest reason, is because a lot of times these tadpoles are in areas that have a little bit of silt and slime on the bottom. And if you were to drag a bait along that bottom, you end up getting covered in slime and your, your cast, you, the, the effectiveness of your cast goes down drastically. So I love to throw a drop shot. Generally, I'll use a shorter leader, so like six inch leader. And, and the two things that, there's really one type of bait that I like to use that for me has dominated during this, this tadpole time of year. And that's a goby style bait. But what I will say is I vary this bait based on side of, size of tadpoles. So the tadpoles that you just saw in that video are really small tadpoles. My number one bait for that is just a Berkley twitch tail minnow. This is a small three inch minnow, absolute killer, little bait, but it's got a little bit of a bulbous head, real skinny little tail, looks a lot like a tadpole in the water. Just a real small little bait that's really good. The other one I really like to throw is just the poor boys. That's an old pack, but just the poor boys uh, Gobi Jr. So this is a small one. And these really are, are just two small Gobi style baits to mimic, well, to mimic Gobies, but I like them because they have the same sort of shape as a tadpole and they work really well. Now, once those tadpole grow up and they become bigger tadpoles, I'm talking, you know, three, four inches long, I stick with the Gobi style bait on a drop shot. I just go with a larger bait. So you know, again, this is the the regular Poor Boys Gobi. You can see it's just a longer version of the Junior. And the other one I really like is the X Zone Slammer, which again has a you know it has a big. Let's see if I can hold that. I'll hold it upside down. It's just got a big flat head on it with a skinny little tail, and they're made. All of these baits are made to mimic Gobies, but they mimic tadpoles really well so that's really my my one-two punch you know when it comes to fishing them a lot of times you'll end up having to to rig it texas style on the drop shot to make it weedless just because the tadpoles are going to be in and out of little weed clumps you know obviously some of the other baits that work well uh you know are frogs or small top waters if you can get them around where the the tadpoles are the biggest issue just comes down to effectiveness and for me flipping around you know a little drop shot with a little goby imitator really has been by far the best bait that i can find to mimic tadpoles so guys next time you're out on the water don't over you know don't don't think that the tadpole thing doesn't work i don't ever really hear people people talk about getting on a tadpole pattern which surprises me because Everywhere I've gone in the country, I have found that this happens. And a lot of times I'm telling you, like I said before, when guys are talking about catching them in six inches of water, that's why they're there. They're eating tadpoles. And that bite is normally this time of year. It's, it's like that post-spawn time and the tadpoles are up shallow, just like you saw in that video. So guys, don't, don't make it, don't think that this doesn't work. Next time you're out on the water, if you're seeing tadpoles, you make a little bit of a switch and I'll guarantee you that you will find fish in groups 
in areas that you normally wouldn't find them and you can have some of the best fishing of the year so check it out guys thanks for watching i hope this was helpful if it was hit the like button subscribe to the channel share it on your social media pages we got new videos with tips and tricks that come out every day thanks for watching